Welcome back to MyAndyBuck.com. I've recently been asked to do a tutorial on how to get your CDs from the music on your CDs to a flash drive using Windows 10 and Windows Media Player. Things just keep changing as the different Windows versions keep going on. So I'll show you how to do that. First of all, you want to open up your Windows Media Player. Next, you'll want to put your CD into your CD-ROM and close it. Now I have my Windows Media Player set to automatically rip when the CD is put in. So you're going to see it start ripping things to the library uh, as it comes in. Where you check those is under your rip settings. You can choose, look down through here and look at format. Make sure you're set to MP3. You also want to look at audio quality and have it set to 256 kbps. You also, I set mine to rip the CD automatically, so whenever I put a CD into the drive, it'll automatically start ripping the CD. And you can also choose to eject the CD after you're done ripping. So once you have the CD in the drive and it's begun ripping your tracks to, the, to your library, you'll want to put in your flash drive into your USB port. It'll probably pull up a window here showing you what's on it. So you want to just close that down because you don't need that right now. But if you look over here to the left, it's actually right up here. It is the F, which is what's, what's logged in over here on this side here too. And there's nothing on there right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to music and you'll see all of my music here. So if we slide down to the bottom, you'll find the newly ripped track or tracks and you can choose them all. I'm just going to do one for now. Hold down on your left mouse button and drag it over here to the sync list and add it to the sync list. Once you've got that accomplished and you've got everything you want over here on your flash drive, you can hit start sync and it will sync it right over to your flash drive and you'll be all set. I did have one individual ask me if you could um, if you could go directly to the flash drive, save directly to the flash drive. And it caused me to think, actually, if you go over here to the, um, if you go back to the RIP settings, you can open that up and you can go down to more options. And under more options, you can choose where you want to have something saved. Right here where it says users, Andy Buck, and music, you can change that and have it rip directly to your flash drive, which is the removable F drive, and skip the sync setting altogether. You can just have it rip directly to it. The only catch is if you decide to do that again, you're going to make, need to make sure you either have a flash drive in your USB port when you get ready to rip or that you change this back so that it goes to your hard drive. Thank you for tuning in to MyAndyBuck.com. It's been a pleasure, and I hope you'll tune back in again. Please comment, subscribe. I'd love to have you. Thanks a lot.